Welcome back to this series of light reading conversations. We're joined now by Tom Hull, CIO of Kaleida Health, Cisco customer as well. Um, Tom, welcome to this conversation. Uh, glad you could join us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Let's start with some context first for those who are coming to Kaleida for the first time. Tell us a bit about your size, uh, your focus, and just a bit about your IT footprint as well. Kaleida Health is a really big organization. We're a huge health system, it includes multiple hospitals. We're the academic medical center for the University of Buffalo. We're considered the largest health system in Western New York State. And that includes uh, from the northernmost part of Western New York all the way down to the Pennsylvania and actually into uh, Northwest Pennsylvania. So it's a big health system. It includes, again, a lot of acute care hospitals, as well as hundreds of locations of specialty clinics, primary care physicians, uh, blood draws, and so forth around, uh, around the region, as well as we own the Visiting Nurse Association of New York, and that's all mobile health care and mobile nursing, rem remote monitoring, and so forth for those patients. So it's a big health system. Uh, we're building an environment where it's a centralized information technology organization. We're almost complete with that. We still have a couple of more steps to take, but that's work that got started over the last year and a half or so when I arrived. And it's it's gone very well. Uh, the, you know, the collaboration the whole new governance model that I've put in place, including a great culture of working together, again, the collaboration, which uh, which ties into actually our technology roadmap and strategic plan. So, uh, so it's a big IT organization. We're a few hundred people and, uh, and three different data centers collapsed from even a larger footprint of data centers. So we're modernizing and we are, uh, I think we're right-sizing for the health system. Um, I'm not sure how far along the, the evolution path you are there, but um, are there some best practices that you can share with other CIOs going down a similar digital transformation path? Yeah, I think it's important, uh, you know, in, in today's day and age with technology that has has really expanded in so many of the different areas of healthcare, including the consumerization, it's important to think about the end-to-end, -end, not just, you know, we used to think about patient-centric healthcare and so forth, still valid, still valid, but now it's really, you know, data has expanded quite a bit. We now have uh, better, more informed, um, specialty care areas, as well as departments from operating room to emergency department to lab and so forth. And each one of those needs technology improvements, technology support. So the collaboration and sort of that central integration is very important. The, the less that there are, there are those shadow IT technicians, engineers, groups out there, and instead work together as a team, try to bring people together. If, if we can do it through an organizational model and, and that approach, that's the best. Tom, talk a bit about the important business applications and data that your IT team is managing. In such a big healthcare system, we have uh, several electronic health record systems. And those electronic health systems are purpose-built. They're for those particular entities of, of our healthcare systems. You know, so we have uh, large electronic health record systems, including Cerner, Meditech, Allscripts, Eclipsis. We have eClinical Works, home care home base for our, for our nursing, uh, our visiting nurse association. Those are the big, those are big. MedEnt is also a big ma uh, practice management system that we we have, we have over 30 instances of. Uh, so it is, it is a, a large clinical, both acute and ambulatory set of systems and, uh, and software packages, a lot of ancillary systems that go along with that. 
lab, pharmacy, emergency department, imaging systems for our radiology groups, cardiovascular, and we're partnered with several there, again, across the region. Then on the business system side, our, our administrative systems, we have an ERP environment. We're actually going to be modernizing that as we go forward, but that includes, that includes Lawson and Kronos and Cornerstone for, for, from an HR uh, and payroll perspective into all the financial areas of the institution, uh, expanded out to all those affiliates, as well as procurement, e-procurement. Uh, so those are our main application suite. And then, of course, we have a lot of the technology on our infrastructure as well. All right. Um, you've also started a, a data center modernization project as part of this transformation. Um, this apparently also includes some plans to build out your cloud capabilities. I'm wondering if you can describe that project a little bit, um, as well as some of the business outcomes that you'd like to drive as part of it. Yeah, yeah. So our our data center modernization is very timely for us. You know, we need to adopt the software-defined data center model, including software-defined networking, and it's a very strong relationship with Cisco. But this this is very important to us because. In, in, in putting together this private cloud environment that is going to be accessed through all these 40 affiliates of Kaleida Health and really Great Lakes Health, which is our parent company, is very important for us to achieve. And in order to build the resilience, have active active between a primary and an alternate data center, being able to build business continuity into into the disaster recovery model in the case that we have an incident, maybe there's a cybersecurity uh, threat that uh, that hits us. Those are the kinds of recovery scenarios that we need to achieve as fast as we need, as we can achieve them. The only way to do that is through a modern data center approach. So that that private cloud active environment with business continuity across locations for all of our infrastructure that's supporting all of our applications and now massive amount of data. We're well over three, four terabytes of active data and closer to 10, 10 uh, petabytes, I should say. So 10 petabytes of, of accessible data that includes all of the imaging, the patient records and so forth. So it's a large environment and, and therefore, the architecture is that much more important for us. Our ability then to expand elasticity, you know, uh, into the into the public cloud or key partners cloud uh, cloud offerings, Cisco being a very key part of that, is what is what we're doing. So, you know, as as the healthcare industry. Uh, modernizes similar to other industries. We 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 of course have you know software as a service in a cloud type of model, but we also have now platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. Mm -hmm. That is important for us because the capacity that we need, especially from a data perspective, to expand into the cloud, have have resiliency in a software defined environment means that we're not tied to just whatever capacity, hardware capacity that we, that we have on premise. So that expansion capability on demand is what we're achieving now with our data center modernization. All right, um, Tom, in that vein, I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about some of the steps uh, that you're taking to build a common operating model for your hybrid cloud. Yeah, so, so the, the model in this hybrid cloud environment is very exciting to us. You know, we uh, again, it's the key is in our business organization, the healthcare system. These are the affiliates that we have that we are collaborating with. We may we may share data with under the right privacy and uh, and affiliate agreements. That's important to uh, to be able to segment in a software defined model both software-defined networking and software-defined data center. So this common operating model of, of you know, our information technology organization expanded out to these affiliates allows us to serve 
those affiliates under under the regulations and healthcare of PHI, HIPAA, and so forth in segmented tenant ways, software defined that allows us to provide that access management, data management, data governance, which is a brand new steering committee that we started this year, off to a very successful start, connecting all those organizations in the common operating model, using this hybrid cloud base of, of technology capacity, application serving, infrastructure serving, data serving. All of that is part of that common operating model in our data center modern architecture. Tom, really appreciate the introduction and, and virtual tour of, uh, of Kaleida Help today. Appreciate you joining us on Light Reading. It's my pleasure, thank you so much. We've been talking with Tom Hull, CIO of Kaleida Health. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.